happy International Women's Day, March 8th today. I took some time this morning to actually look up the history of where this day has come from. And I was intrigued to discover that International Women's Day has been around for a long time and has roots um, as is most things that come from uh, the space of being a woman uh, has origins in uh, civil rights movements, um, gathering of women who uh, elected the, this particular day to progress uh, rights, to reduce suffering, and to make a, a bold front against uh, oppression. And I was pleasantly surprised to discover that International Women's Day historically has also been declared a public holiday in some countries. And as I start to reflect on it, I started to then recall in my brain um, a book that uh, my daughter has on, I can't remember his exact title, but uh, The Great Things That Women Do. Uh, it's a fantastic uh, book that has uh, beautiful pictures and just has, I think, one or two pages of the story of people, uh, women who really changed the world. And as I started to think about that, I realized that uh, females have a tendency to feel deeply and believe deeply. And, and when they get together with other women, uh, they have this phenomenal ability to be resolved, to stand, again for, stand, stand against forces coming from an era of deep, deep care and not wanting to see other people suffer. Uh, and then as I progressed those thoughts and I thought about coming online, I started to be aware of feeling a little afraid that as a woman, if I came out and said these things in a public space, would other people bring that message down? Would there be males who might hop on and say, not just you women, us two men? And um, I, find, I found this to be an interesting dynamic because I think what has occurred is that maybe in the last week with social media posts going out about International Women's Day, I have seen comments come back um, basically refuting or debating or wanting to claim equal ground uh, in the recognition that it's not just women who go through certain things. While I understand where that comes from, I don't necessarily agree with the need for that um, because it actually perpetuates, probably as a woman, what I experience on a regular basis. And I do not doubt that men have similar feelings, particularly when they themselves have been victims of abuse or assault. Uh, for women, there tends to be a generational and societal flavor to that. I cannot tell you how many times I will walk past a car park first making a plan for how I should walk through that car park, thinking about where I should park, thinking about lighting, um, what it's like to walk down a street and have people call out at you or to go for a run and have a car uh, drive past you, wind down their window and wolf whistle or hurl some kind of comment and you stop dead in your tracks because you have to figure out, is it okay to keep going? Or what it's like to think on a regular basis, how you're dressed even, even though you know that that shouldn't be a thing. But nevertheless, having those thoughts and, and working out how am I dressed? Is it going to attract any attention? Or what it's like to be in a crowded bus or train and just have that trickling thought in your head to think, am I actually going to um, encounter something really horrible today? Or for me, much more lately, because I've been much more visible in social media, having a panic, a mini panic when I see messages pop up in my social, my personal message because I've been solicited so many times, unfortunately I have to say by men um, who are asking me um, inappropriate questions and soliciting um, somewhat uh, sexual uh, content or dialogue from me. So International Women's Day um, is probably now synonymously, uh, I see lots of posts uh, about self-care and taking it slow. 
And I think I just wanted to come online after myself a morning of um, cooking since early morning and now heading out to do a bunch of things. I think that as a woman, I don't really uh, hold it against anybody. I think it comes from a general uh, desire uh, to care and to tap into uh, how other people feel and need. I think what though tends to be a problem is when we feel invisible and we don't we don't feel seen uh, when we run ourselves off the ground because we're so desperately needing some love and affection and attention uh, when we run ourselves to the ground wanting to give and serve others because we don't know if what we've done is enough um, and we feel guilt and if we're really honest we feel shame because we're comparing ourselves with the person next door or the, the mythical um, super woman that we have in our head and even worse when other women uh, perpetuate that message and when we criticize one another and when we judge one another and when we um, make unnecessary unhelpful comments to one another do you know what have it today we all pray we all just press pause <laughs> on that how about we just take a day to press pause on that why not for International Women's Day? Why don't we surround ourselves with a feeling of security and safety and love? Why don't we surround ourselves with a message that you're doing okay and you're doing the best that you can? And why don't you have a moment today to really tap into that space that cares deeply and loves deeply and maybe turn the mirror around? Why don't you see yourself? Why don't you accept yourself? Why don't you have a love for yourself? Because you deserve it. Happy International Women's Day.